Kickstarter from our friends over at Clash of Spears and it came. I know you're surprised, not because of them, but because Kickstarters never ship when they say they will, but they did. And we are one of the first ones to get this content. So we want to show you what's in the cool box. I will say this is a really big box because we got a lot of stuff. So let's open it up. I like how nicely it's packed. I know people care, but maybe not as many as I do. And let's just dig right in. We got paper. Don't need that. First up, the rule book. Look at how beautiful this is. And if only I had thought to have something with me to open it, I would show you the inside. But maybe our cameraman can do it off scene while I show some other stuff in here. So we got some nice bases. Let's just dig right in here too. One of the cool things with this Kickstarter was there were MDF upgrades that you could get. Um, you could either choose to get bases for your miniatures, uh, which I did not choose, um, Adrian did, or you could get a cool measuring tool. Uh, so it has one inch up here, you have your long six inches here too, with a little gladius, I like that, I like the spear and all the inlay for everything, and also you get your four inch as well. Yes, I know you could use a tape measure, but it's not gonna be branded first of all, and then this is also cool because you don't have to worry about actually measuring, you just pop it down and you know what distance you have, what it's gonna be like, very, very cool. The bases are also awesome here, let's take some out for all of you. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So the cool square bases as I pop a bunch out. Uh, very nicely made. Good thickness right there. Sometimes with MDF you get things that are a little too thin or too thick, but this is actually pretty good thickness. And I say MDF, but honestly, it might be HDF. I'm not 100% positive about that. There's tokens as well for gameplay. And I have them upside down, so let's put them the right way. So you have different number of gladii. I think it might be the plural of gladius. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Comments below. Uh, and you have all the sorts of cool tokens here. I like how they're all laser etched in here. MDF is really cool. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. And then, of course, you can paint these if you wanted. Or maybe a nice stain. Head on over to your local... Um, do-it-yourself home store and you could do some staining on them we got some round tokens and you see some fell out but that's okay you get the idea here uh, it says SC across the top and then Roman numerals going from one through my Roman numerals are off was that seven yes yeah, seven as well again with MDF very cool could paint them again if you like organa stain as well let's show you here this was a neat thing that they added on uh, near the end. So one of the key uh, aspects of Clash of Spears is how units get fatigued. So you can basically do anything you want in the game, basically. You can keep on sending your same units forward, attack, 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 but there's going to be a cost to it. Your units get fatigued. They're not going to do as well. So you have to decide, is it worth doing that extra push or does it make you too vulnerable? When and how, timing, very, very important. So this shows you all sorts of information that you need, what you can do, and at the top, it does show you about your fatigue table here. Something very important to keep track of. And then I believe we got that rule book open and ready to go. So Adrian, thank you for that. And check this out. Again, very nicely made, great colors, really nice hard cover. I love a good hard bound book. And let's open it up. You get that crack that the camera probably didn't pick up but look at this great photography great layout smells like a new book i love a new book smell i work in a library people it's one of the great joys in life it's just it's beautiful if you backed it you also got the pdf of it as well available from war game vault and i believe this is going to be going on sale for everyone soon after all backers get it and then here in the back Put that aside, you have this is gorgeous, nice, thick, spill proof. I'm gonna say, <laughs> a quick reference guide. Work yourself through everything. A lot of rules, especially World of Games, is known for this. They'll give you it in the book, so you have to photocopy it or go print it out from online, which I hate. 
it's great to have, but like I don't want to do that extra step. Just give it to me that I can use. So this is awesome. And the neat thing about this is you could use dry erase markers on it. Mm. So if you ever need to make notes or whatever, just use a dry erase marker, wipe it off, you're good to go. Something people playing D&D and role playing games have been doing for years. Well, gamers have been a little slow to adapt it, at least, you know, built in with the companies. I love this. This is huge. And I can't get over the book how gorgeous it is. Retail price, $34 American. And just, it's very well made. And I love it. Just, the great people. And I also want to give a shout out to them uh, because they backed us on our Kickstarter. So that's awesome as well. And then here we've got special characters that got made. Now these might be hard. So we might just have um, pictures of these up on our social media. Check us out, wargamingrecon.com on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram, I think. I'm just under my own name, Jonathan, I think, on there. I'd have to think about that. Uh, but these are all generals. Uh, so I believe this is a Celtic leader, perhaps? I might be wrong. Actually, now that I say it, I am wrong. This is Roman. It has to be Roman. Um, pewter, it's gorgeous model. Nice sculpting on it. Very minimal flash. Actually, I don't see any flash now that I say it. Uh, great definition. This would be a joy to paint for anyone. Oop. We have another person who I don't know who he is. He might actually be the Celt. I'm going to say that for each one. He might be the Celt. And of course I'm wrong. The first one. The naked guy is the Celt. <laughs> None of them are naked. <laughs> I was wrong. The first one's not the Celt. Because the room, uh, not the room, because the room is down here. I didn't think he could be. Everyone's shouting, no, it's not the Roman, it's not the Celt. Uh, but again, great looking model right here. And I can't remember who all the, the leaders are. are there, was there a Celt, a Gaul, and a Roman? I honestly don't remember. I know uh, that makes me a bad person. Me too, but beautifully done, great sculpting. I like that it has a little base on them as well. So, of course, you, you, you got to rebase them, but you don't have to. It'll stand up. Uh, and this is a Roman, because clearly you look at his headpiece. But beautiful, made out of metal, nice white metal. And then more stuff we don't need, but again, good packaging. Oh, gorgeous. The anticipation. Mm. Oh, Carthaginian! That's who the other one had to be. Because, of course, I remembered, since we backed, Victrix did the miniatures. Look at this box. Gorgeous, great art, of course. Clash of Spears branding on it. Let's, let's let you get a look at all the sides of the box, because it's gorgeous. So you see what you get inside. If you see this in a store, you're gonna know exactly what you're gonna get, what you want. Adrian wanted the Carthaginians, and we'll open that in a second, but first, the more important one, really. Rome, who doesn't love Rome? Everybody had their boot on the neck of. <laughs> They don't count! Rome is amazing, and you just get so many figures in here. But at the same time, Clash of Spears does not need a ton of figures to play, which is awesome. Again, let's flip it around so you can see the whole makeup here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous right here. And since this is a more important one, let's open it up. <laughs> and you can see inside the sprues. It is sprue heaven! Look at this! Great cavalry. You flip it around. You see all the different heads you can put for the people. So you get just great modularity here. But honestly, sometimes when these kind of things, it can be too much to do. Multiply plastics can be a little mm, for me. Uh, and this doesn't look like it. You do have options, but pretty easy to assemble. Things line up pretty well. You get two groupings of this. This looks like it has a command in here as well. Comes with unit cards which is a really cool thing because i don't know if you're like me but if you are unit cards make it easy to know what your units have instead of referring to that rule book and if i can get them out i'll show you some so again these are nice heavy duty just like the quick reference guide information on the back get stuff on the front symbols that come into play when you play kind of like i don't know test of honor saga any of those kind of things points costs and all that sort of stuff very, very cool for everything that comes in the box. There's more cards, I just didn't get them all up. And then the Carthaginians have the same. Do you want to see it? Yes, you do, because Rome has to have someone to kill. Unless I'm playing as Rome, in which case I lose, so it doesn't matter, but let's just open up Adrian's box without asking him, because I'm sure he doesn't mind. 
And you've got slingers here. Very, very cool. Uh, those are probably Numidian slingers is my guess. Nice shields, heads, and so forth. Cavalry. Oh, nice. Very nice pieces right here. Beautifully done. No flash, no anything. And again, unit cards. So you can't go wrong with Clash of Spears. That's what it was in the rule book. Show you guys. So we're excited that we got our stuff. We'll be playing it soon and talking about it on the podcast. Head on over to wargamingrecon.com to get that. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, get notifications, click that bell, all that stuff. Uh, follow us on Facebook and everywhere else. Most importantly, if you haven't already backed it on Kickstarter, wait until this comes out on retail and buy it then. You're going to want it. Thank you very much. And as you know, keep on gaming.